Welcome to Muzzleloader Camp 2023. We're going to be out here at my wife's family's cabin for uh, four or five days, something like that. Actually, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And, uh, obviously, muzzleloaders and rain don't go together very well. So this is going to be a problem for us for tomorrow. We're going to get ourselves unpacked here, put food away, get stuff organized. I really don't know what's going to be going on for tomorrow. Into rain, 30 mile per hour winds. It's just not looking great. I'll be up at 5 a.m. Just got to see what the weather's going to do. If I can get out for a couple hours, we're going to go out for a couple hours. Opening morning here. And obviously, it's been raining, but I'm gonna go ahead in here. I've had a camera out here since the Fourth of July, and uh, it's a dumb camera, so I don't know what's on it. But uh, I'm really just hoping it's still here. So. Figured with the rain, I could do this today. Maybe spend the day scouting tomorrow a little bit more. And then uh, I'm gonna use this rain to my advantage. And uh, basically I'm just gonna still hunt my way down in there to the camera, try to keep the wind in my favor. I can Let's see if we can uh, help. We might get lucky. Who knows? I just made it down to the pipeline here. And of course, the wind is just absolutely wrong to try to basically walk down this pipeline. I know that you really like to hang out in here, but the wind's literally, I, I, I gotta go that way. And that's the way the wind's going. Sucks. It could have went any other direction. Except that way. But I still gotta find my camera. Oh, that's one good thing, my camera's still here. We are on our way in for an afternoon hunt. Got the saddle set up with me. And uh, one other guy in the little parking area. I'm really hoping I don't run into him. I don't feel like booking up this hunt. But to get down to a little pinch point in between uh, bedding and food. Let's see if we can uh, catch some deer coming out of their bedding area once this rain finally lets up. Well, we're finally up in the tree here. Took a little longer than expected. I got a lot of crap to set up. Basically, what we're doing here is we got a field out on this side, just like a cleaning green field, if you catch my drift. And behind me here is a really good oak patch. It's just almost all oak. And there's a lot of acorns in here. So basically what I'm thinking is I, I know the deer, when they get pressured, they like to go into this thick stuff over here. And it's impenetrable. We, you can't get in it, I've tried. It's just briars and thick and nasty. Basically, as far as I know, no one goes in there. So, if the deer want to come feed the acorns behind me, they have two choices. They walk through the field, or they cut around, right through here. They go up and they feed into the acorns. That 
is. That is their two choices. So, like I said, I scouted this really hard this summer. I've had a camera down here since Memorial Day I started scouting out here. I could definitely tell when deer season started because my deer activity basically disappeared where the camera is. Which is all along the field. So, I'm willing to bet the deer are probably pretty pressured down here. We have like three hours of no rain coming up. Ideally, get one before that. But depending on how hard it rains, we'll see how long I stay out. That's a big, big question mark right now. We've been in here for about an hour. <clears throat> All I've heard so far is two shots. Up on the mountain, unfortunately, the rain is gonna pick back up. So I'm literally, I'll hunt till like 4.30. I just, I got too much electronics with me to risk destroying. So, I know it's been kind of a crappy day, but this is hunting. This is real hunting. I don't post videos just because I killed something. I post videos because I went hunting, trying to tell a story. <laughs> 